In this presentation, we will learn what is a complemented lattice. By the end of this lecture, learners would know what is a complemented lattice. They would be able to know what is the definition of complemented lattice and how to determine whether a given lattice is a complemented lattice or not. It would be easier for you to determine whether a given lattice is a complemented lattice by the end of this lecture. So, without any further delay, let's get started. Here is the definition. A complemented lattice is a bounded lattice where every element has at least one complement. It is important for us to understand that a complemented lattice is first of all a bounded lattice. Then we must understand that every element of the complemented lattice has at least one complement. Okay. Now recall the definition of complement. A is called the complement of B if A or B is equal to 1. A and B is equal to 0. What is the meaning of A or B equal to 1? It means least upper bound of A comma B must be equal to the greatest element. And what is the meaning of A and B equal to 0? Greatest lower bound of A comma B must be equal to the least element. Okay. We must always remember the definition of a complement. Okay. So, a complemented lattice is a bounded lattice where every element has at least one complement. We will find the complements of every element and we must verify this that every element has at least one complement. Okay. Let's see one example to help us to understand how to determine whether a lattice is a complemented lattice or not. Consider the following hash diagram. Let's say we are available with this hash diagram and our target is to find whether a given lattice is a complemented lattice or not. Okay. Let's do this. First of all, the given lattice is a bounded lattice. There is no doubt about this that this lattice is a bounded lattice. Why is that so? You can verify this that the greatest element is i and the least element is a. Right? Greatest element is i and least element is a. Obviously, why this is a greatest element? Because every element is related to this element. And why this is a least element? Because this element is related to every other element. Right? So, this particular lattice is a bounded lattice. There is no doubt about this. Now, let's check whether the given lattice is a complemented lattice or not. Okay, let's check this out. Let's find the complement of a particular element. Let's say in this case, we will first find the complement of D. Okay, let's find the complement of this particular element. E is not the complement of D because least upper bound of E comma D is equal to G. You can verify this that least upper bound of E comma D is actually G. It is not equal to I, right? And greatest lower bound of E comma D is equal to B, which is not equal to A. Greatest lower bound of E D is B and not A. So, it is clear that E is not the complement of D. Apart from this, F is the complement of D. This element is the complement of this element. Why is that so? Least upper bound of F comma D is equal to I. You can verify this. That least upper bound of F comma D is equal to I. They meet at this point. If we trace the path up from these two points, then you can see that they meet at this point. After this, greatest lower bound of F comma D is equal to A. Right? They meet at this point. So, it is clear that F is the complement of D. Therefore, F is the complement of D and D is the complement of F. We have already learned this why it is true. F is the complement of D and D is also the complement of F. Right? So, it is clear that these two elements have a complement. Okay? Now, let's find the complement of element E, this particular element, which is in the middle of this particular lattice. D is not the complement of E because least upper bound of D comma E is equal to G. Right? Least upper bound of D comma E is G. Therefore, D is not the complement of E. Also, greatest lower bound of D comma E is equal to B, which is not equal to A. Right? It is clear that D is not the complement of E. And understand this that F is also not the complement of E. Because least upper bound of F comma E is equal to H. You can see this. Least upper bound of E comma F or F comma E is equal to H. Right? Which is obviously not equal to I. And greatest lower bound of F comma E is equal to C, which is obviously not equal to A. You can see this like greatest lower bound of F comma E is equal to C and not A. Therefore, F is not the complement of E. Right? Now, you can satisfy yourself and you can easily verify this that the complement of E does not exist. It is clear that this particular element has no complement at all. Right? Therefore, the given lattice is not a complemented lattice. Why is that so? 
because there exists some element which does not have any complement. Hence, the given lattice is not a complemented lattice. Fine. Let's consider this particular example. Consider the following has diagram which is available in front of us. Is the above lattice a complemented lattice? Now, this is the question. Okay, is the above lattice a complemented lattice? Let's find out. B is the complement of D and D is the complement of B. It is quite clear that D is the complement of B and B is the complement of D. Why is that so? Least upper bound of B comma D is equal to least upper bound of D comma B which is equal to C. You can see this that least upper bound of D comma B or B comma D is C and greatest lower bound of D comma B is equal to A. Right? Greatest lower bound is equal to A. Therefore, B is the complement of D and D is also the complement of B. Right? Similarly, C is the complement of A and A is the complement of C. You can see that C and A are the greatest and the least element respectively. Right? C is always the complement of A and A is always the complement of C. This must always be true. Okay? Greatest and least elements are always complement to each other. We must always remember that. Okay? C is the complement of A and A is the complement of C. Hence, it is clear that every element has a complement. Therefore, the given lattice is a complemented lattice. There is no doubt about this. Here, every element has a complement. There is no such element which does not have a complement. Hence, it is clear that the given lattice is a complemented lattice. Right? Now, let's see this particular example. Determine whether the following has diagram is a bounded lattice or not. If yes, then check whether it is a complemented lattice or not. If we are available with this particular lattice and we have to determine whether the following lattice is a bounded lattice or not, this is the first thing we have to check. Then we have to check whether this is a complemented lattice or not. Let's do this. First of all, the given lattice is a bounded lattice because it has the greatest element and the least element. You can clearly see that the greatest element is G in this particular lattice. Greatest element is G because every element is related to this element. Least element is A because this element is related to every other element. Hence, the given lattice is a bounded lattice. There is no doubt about this. Let's check whether the given lattice is a complemented lattice or not. Now, let's just try to check whether the given lattice is a complemented lattice or not. Let's first find the complement of this particular element D. Okay? E is not the complement of D. Why is that so? Least upper bound of E, D is equal to G. Okay, least upper bound of E, D or D, E is actually equal to G, which is obviously the greatest element. We got the greatest element out of least upper bound, right? Greatest lower bound of E, D is equal to B, which is not equal to A. This is the point where we are lacking. Here, the greatest lower bound of E, D is equal to B and it is not equal to A. Hence, E is not the complement of D. It is clear, right? F is the complement of D because least upper bound of F, D is equal to G and greatest lower bound of F, D is equal to A. You can verify this. Consider these two elements F and D. Least upper bound of F, D or D, F is equal to G. They meet at this point. And greatest lower bound of F, D is equal to A. Therefore, it is clear that F is the complement of D. Right? Hence, D has a complement. Right? Obviously, complement of D is F and D is also the complement of F. Right? Similarly, D is the complement of C and F is the complement of B. You can verify this that D is the complement of this particular element C. Because you can see that the greatest lower bound of C, D is actually A and least upper bound of C, D is G. Therefore, D is the complement of C and C is the complement of D. Right? Also, F is the complement of B because greatest lower bound of F, B is A and least upper bound of F, B is G. Right? Also, A and G are complement to each other because these are least and greatest elements. Therefore, they are complement to each other. So, we have a complement of D, complement of F, complement of B, complement of C. We have a complement of A and we have a complement of G. Right? But what about E? What about the complement of E? Let's find out the complement of this particular element. D is not the complement of E. It is clear that this element is not a complement of this element. It is clear. Why? Because least upper bound of D, E is equal to G. You can see that least upper bound of D, E is equal to G. 
but greatest lower bound of d comma a is equal to b which is not equal to a right you can see that greatest lower bound of d comma e or e comma d is equal to b which is not equal to a hence d is not the complement of e also f is not the complement of e because least upper bound of f comma e is g this is true but greatest lower bound of f comma e is equal to c and it is not equal to a it is easy to verify that the complement of e does not exist you can check this element with other elements and find the complement you won't be able to find the complement of e complement of e does not exist you can verify this easily if we consider let's say e and b obviously b is not the complement of e similarly c is also not the complement of e a is not the complement of e g is not the complement of e hence it is clear that e has no complement therefore the given lattice is not a complemented lattice it is clear from this fact that this particular lattice is not a complemented lattice although this lattice is a bounded lattice but this lattice is not a complemented lattice there exists one element which does not have any complement this element does not have any complement right therefore this lattice is not a complemented lattice now here is one homework problem for you determine whether the following has diagram is a complemented lattice or not here we are available with this has diagram now you have to determine whether this has diagram is a complemented lattice or not first verify this that this is a bounded lattice then find whether this is a complemented lattice or not you can always post your answers in the comment section below okay friends this is it for now thank you for watching this presentation